Thomas Gettner is a fashion photographer who uses his adventurous missions as inspiration for his work. Raised in South Africa, he now lives in Germany. However, he is always drawn back to the continent he grew up on, and a lot of his photographic work reflects that. For example, his photographs focusing on darkened models set against a uh, blue-black background rely heavily on his years spent in South Africa and set him apart as a fashion photographer. What I found really interesting about him was the diversity in subjects used in his photographs, ranging from fashion, lifestyle, and people, to experimental photography and journalism. Kettner is uh, also the honorary chairman of BFF, which is the Association of Freelance Photo Photographic Designers. Um, that is important because in his interview with Whole Magazine, he talks about his choice to work as a freelance journalist and um, a photographer, I'm sorry, and he explains how that um, was actually not uh, permitted for a while. Uh, and it was you know, one of the main focuses of the BFF. Um, so that is really important to show why he, he as a member of, um, of the BFF made a dif can help make a difference. Uh, he also works as a documentary photographer for doctors in the third world. His lifestyle pictures vary from images of people on the beach to rock climbers, horse riders, joggers, and much more. Um, I really personally enjoy these pictures because they capture normal moment, moments in our lives um, the, through the use of like different lighting and motion. Uh, because his main work is focused on fashion, it is refreshing to see how he can capture candid moments as well where the subjects are just normal people going on with their lives. Um, none of these pictures really look staged. It just looks like he was able to capture exactly what was happening in that moment and through the use of his techniques, he um, he can really um, emphasize the feelings of the moment. Um, on top of that, his fashion and beauty pictures are also um, some, something that I was really interested in. Um, they use both male and female subjects, and they're placed in you know different settings, different times of the day, different cities. Um, none of them are the same. He doesn't really have a style where some all the um, models use too much makeup or certain clothing or certain perspectives. He really um, likes to uh, diversify his uh, photographic approaches and subjects. Uh, so yeah, unlike some phot photographers who focus on one style, he um, experiments with different backgrounds and that I think is what makes his pictures truly unique. Um, for example, his use of light and dark in his low-key depictions of um, a retro Hollywood style makes one think of the 1940s film noir and it throws the viewer into a world of darkness that is full of menace. Um, in this picture, is usually the subject is a female that is, um, in the pictures are taken with a dark background. They are, there's very little light used. And one can only see half of the woman's face. The other half is surrounded by darkness. Again, emphasizing that um, that world that of darkness. Um, in an interview with Whole Magazine um, that I mentioned earlier, Kettner explains his fascination with South Africa. Um, he says, in his own words, In the first place, it would be the brutal honesty of the continent. It's a place very close to the origin of humanity. Over there, humans are dominated by nature. It's the vastness, the endlessness of everything we dream about. Um, so that was his response to question of what really interests him so much in South Africa and why so many of his pictures are taken in that continent. Um, in the same interview, he talks about his involvement with doctors in the third world. Um, he starts out by saying, you know, my pictures are documentary in nature, but they also provide a commentary. They should open people's eyes. So it can, it's very obvious that he is interested in making a change and that can be seen in um, the next part of his answer where he says, I don't know if I can actually achieve or change anything, but if I can decrease the suffering of even a few people, I would be satisfied. The doctors there need aid and resources to ensure the continuation of medical care and services. Together, we take a stand for a dignified life. That's what my work is mainly about. So I think that clearly shows um, what is important for this photographer. It's not just taking pictures and of pretty models and um, and that's it. It's not just about that. He's trying to make a change even though it might be subtle 
and that's why I think his pictures are so important. That's what sets him apart. He tries to capture life as it is. You know, when asked whether he likes to work in a studio or outside in nature, um, his response is that you know he does both, but there's nothing more refreshing than being outside in nature, seeing a sunrise in uh, in South Africa, um, and just seeing the world as it is.